Welcome back to Inchen's Place and it's another episode of Get It Out From The Tube. As you can see here, I have three uh, art prints here in the tube and they're ready to be taken out from the tube. So I've already uh, taken out the lid for this one because I'm too excited. I have not checked them though. Uh, so these are actually two DC prints and one Court of the Dead. They're all amazing pieces. I hope you would enjoy. So click the thumbs up if you like the video and help me share it to everyone. And if you like weekly pop culture videos, subscribe to my channel, The Ancient's Place. So to start with, I have here the Alex Ross history of DC Universe and it's actually a very beautiful piece. Uh, you can see here the Trinity in the right side and some of the characters or the Justice League characters uh, in the left side, they look really good. They somehow like being shadowed though, shadowed and basically there are some, let's say, uh, scenes like, I guess this is World War, uh, some parts of Wonder Woman's history, Batman's history, some uh, Green Lantern's history as well. Uh, I guess this is, I'm not sure, maybe this is um, uh, Superman's Krypton family, um, those kind of stuff and Batman here as well. There's even like, let's say, like Shazam there at the at the right most but nonetheless they look absolutely uh, amazing uh, so for this piece it actually says in the website that it is 18 by 24 but I don't think this is 18 by 24 because my board here is actually 19 by 25 and it's actually even bigger I guess the print itself really the print without the borders is 18 by 24 but nonetheless it looks absolutely good um, it's worth for me the price. Uh, the price is 150 USD and currently it's already sold out from the Sideshow website. So this is an Alex Ross piece, History of DC Universe uh, from Sideshow Collectibles and it's absolutely beautiful. So I have here another art print of DC. So this one is actually from uh, Paulo Rivera. Um, this is entitled The Justice League, and basically it has most of the characters or the main or the main characters. So basically the uh, Batman, um, Superman, Wonder Woman, Aquaman, Flash, a Power Girl is here, um, Cyborg, uh, Martian Manhunter, Zatanna, um, Green Lantern, Red Tornado, and Hawk Girl. They're actually really beautiful. Uh, I do like this one um, though. Actually, I like this one better compared to the Alex Ross one. Uh, for one thing, they, they look really, let's, how, let's say, painted as well. I'm not really sure if this is really digitally painted or let's say hand painted. Uh, but nonetheless, it looks absolutely really beautiful. I like how they're, um, how would say, the design of their costumes. Uh, I like also how Cyborg doesn't have too much like modern metallic and some wirings and everything it's it's somehow a bit let's say clean uh, I do like that one and their their faces looks really how would say realistic as well really well done so this is actually also sold out uh, which is 90 USD and this one is actually 18 by 24 so it's actually a very good size for the print and I got uh, 290 out of 300 so the the, the Edition size is actually quite high, but nonetheless, it's already sold out, so it's really beautiful. So I hope you guys can still get this in the aftermarket, but nonetheless, ab another absolute beauty uh, from Sideshow side Collectibles. Um, 
The Justice League by Paulo Rivera. The last but definitely not the least is The Transcendence of Spirit uh, by Alex Horley from Sidetrip Collectibles. This is another uh, masterpiece from the Court of the Deadline. I really like this one and I'm also a very big fan of Alex Horley as well uh, because as you can see I really like how he creates his pieces uh, and I, I think he got used to with the Court of the Dead characters. So as you can see here this is actually the spirit faction, one of the factions of the Court of the Dead. And basically this is Kier, so she's actually I think a death uh, Valkyrie, uh, if I'm correct, this is, I'm not sure how to pronounce his name as well, Oglavail. And this is Avarkas, so Avarkas has something like a bring out his intestines and um, yeah, these are basically, I'm not sure who's this guy though, and I'm not sure as well who is this uh, lady eyes so the, in, in the background as well, but nonetheless it looks absolutely beautiful, I really like the, the dark tones. That's why I like um, uh, Alex Horless um, uh, pieces as well. And this actually has a limited edition of 100, so that's very low. And it only causes you like 90 USD. Um, so now this is also like, I think it's already sold out, if I'm correct. This is also already sold out. Uh, again, this is our actually very beautiful pieces. Great masterpieces by Alex Horley. I even have a lot of, I would say, Alex Horley, Court of the Dead pieces, so I'm collecting those because, I, again, I really like them. I like how Sideshow has created the world out of, let's say, death, and that is something really unique and really something that uh, I like to, I would say, discover as well. And I think the, the stories, I've read some of the stories of the comics, they're actually really good as well. So this is Transcendence of Spirit, uh, Court of the Dead by... Alex Horley from Sideshow Collectibles.